Now it's for real. The tactics and squad strength have all been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers. A confrontation that all football lovers will revel in, knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion. Stay with us on EA TV for the live action as it happens. And hello from the Red Bull Arena in Leipzig, just across the Elster Basin from the plush Kotovec training facility. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's Germany versus the Netherlands. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Just the challenge that was required. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Mark Andre Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Leroy Zane plays with Serge Gnabry on the flanks. And they line up with just the one. Could be tremendous defending. Memphis Depay! Oh, that is a superb save. Well, Leroy Zane, an absolute joy to watch when he's on top of his game. Stuart, what kind of performance do you think we'll get from him? Well, he's a fantastic striker of the ball. He can generate so much pace, and when he strikes it cleanly, the ball starts to dip and swerve on its way to the goalkeeper, which is why he needs to be closed down quickly today. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer, and you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here it is again. The pass behind the defence is absolutely perfect. And what a clinical finish this is. Hit with such power by Depay. Not much chance for the keeper there. the action underway again the onus very much on Germany to find a response now Musiala Zule and now here's Henrichs Joshua Kimmich and a fine tackle And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. Ake. Daily blind. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Lorian Wirtz making progress cutting infield here well that's how to keep the opposition at bay a foul but advantage played Dumfries cuts it back well, it looked as though he was going to net another one, but the keeper getting in the way. Well, that was a decent chance for his second there. Not the finish he was really looking for. <laughs> Delivering it. Well, you're not going to bamboozle the goalkeeper with a corner like that. through here a goal real excitement a back and forth type of game now they're level well just look at this again the speed of counter attack is so impressive and there's certainly no doubt about the finish he really hits it with power and accuracy nothing the keeper can do about that
back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Getrauda. And it's with Dumfries. Committed challenge. Sané. It's with Gundogan. And they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Kimi. On to Gundogan. It's with Gundogan. The Netherlands recovering possession well. Gundogan. Zule. Kimmich. And he's won the ball. Simons. Martin Deron. Germany sloppy in possession here. doesn't get away with it free kick given Daly Blitz the pie getting into position to collect it Blitz got ball and tidy defensive play Kai Havertz well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Real chance. There it is. A fantastic goal. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. <laughs> Daily Blitz. Van Dijk with it. Blitz. Gakpo. Really good challenge. Simons. Here's Blint now. Here tried it. A glorious chance. It's still alive. And they might be trailing, but hope in the form of a corner. And taken short. Just the challenge that was required. Space for Germany in the wide area. Is it going to be Sané? And a goal! Calls for celebrations again. Two in front. Well, let's see this again. This is counter attacking football at its very best. And what a clinical finish this is from Sane. He hits it with such power. That's a good goal. And so it is half-time, the first half action is over here at the Red Bull Arena. Well, one thing about Leroy Zane is that he's a natural runner with the ball at his feet, and he's showing that in this game, Stuart. Well, he's been brilliant today. His skill, his movement, his goals, what a good performance, and he's not finished just yet. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us.
De Jong. Could reduce the deficit. Oh, a challenge of the highest order. The pie. Oh, how about that for a tackle? Simmons. He have tried it. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Habits. Advantage played. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. given them a corner <laughs> trying to deliver it accurately goalkeeping of the highest order well he's got to be pleased with that save it's absolutely magnificent time for a change then Can he deliver it with accuracy? Blocked it brilliantly. Well, we like to call things as we see them, Stuart, and I must say he's got that one horribly wrong. Well, it's a poor decision in the end. It's way off target. Germany in a position of menace. Huge block. Gakpo. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And that is how to beat your opponent. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Depay. And defensive play to be applauded. De Jong. Superbly read and executed. Havertz. It's with Gundogan. Promising move from Germany. In position. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing. There for all to see. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. Not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Simmons. Into the advanced position. He have tried it. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. The pie. Marlin. Oh, that's a fine looking pass. 
Not messing around with that clearance. Brilliant piece of skill. Could be. In it goes. He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, this replay shows just how good De Jong is when he runs with the ball. And De Pai's finish is excellent. He times his run, he finds that bit of space, and he was never going to miss that. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. And a lot to like about this attack. Well, really, it had to be further away from the keeper. Well, here's the replay, and I have to say, the keeper's got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor piece of goalkeeping. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Daniel Malin. Gakpo. Depay. Closing down well. A good and fair challenge. So almost at full time and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played... Oh, Stuart, they must score! And a goal here! Well, it took a definite nick and nothing the keeper could do about it whatsoever. Well, as the replay shows, it takes a deflection. And as a result, the keeper had very little chance there. They just got a bit of luck. to De Jong Dumfries Gakpo well that's how to keep the opposition at bay well adding up all the stoppages we will have three extra minutes and Germany exploiting the space on the flank couldn't beat the keeper, unfortunately for him. Well, I think that's a bad miss. He just never looked convincing as he went through there. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Germany unable to retain possession. And the final whistle, the big story here, Germany have prevailed. Stuart, your analysis. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. 
really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest.